Maybe if you're uh, the boss, you should probably look at what your uh, employees are doing. Just a pro tip for a grand businessman. Everything I say is based on my own opinions and experience. I'm not speaking for the public, and my feedback should be treated as such. You are watching Miko Evaluates. With 26 years of experience on Mega Man games, 7 years of doing the No Miss Buster Only Challenge, and countless Snapster races, as well as being the QA tester for Mega Man Unlimited, I'm here to tell you my honest opinions on different Mega Man games, so sit tight and learn. How about we go check Blockman? Get that one out of the way. Everyone's seen this, except... Well, I've seen bits of it, but... Uh, I can't really say that I've seen it. Haven't really uh, cared enough to watch any uh, footage. So background a bit too prominent, hard to see the enemies at times. Blocks just dropping out of nowhere. That enemy just committed suicide. Uh, <laughs> Reminded me of the uh, bicycle from South Park. That probably was not their intention, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Bullseye. That's an achievement? Achievement for that. Oh, I was expecting the blocks to drop down. Ah, there's a flower. I see it. The flower, uh, the design is not so great, it's so hard to see. They just appear from nowhere. Of course, everything explodes into fucking uh, million bits. That's a myth. Does it walk? No, it just does the. Let's test how the myth works. In every, uh, pretty much every Mega Man game so far, if you keep shooting the myth. It eventually opens up and dies. See if that's true. Yes, it does. So it does not stay shielded. I like the um, idea for this uh, enemy, but it's way too easy to kill. Probably takes a. Uh, it's probably too weak. That's what it is. And there's uh, telegraph for uh, the blocks when they drop down. There's a little uh, smoke. Or dust thing coming down first. And apparently this fellow I've heard has a pattern that he repeats. Might not be uh, foreseeable until you've done this many times. It's not too fast, it's quite easy to uh, avoid. I'm not sure what the heads are. Like all the mini bosses so far, or pretty much most of them, have uh, this weird head. I'm not sure what that is. Like a totem or something. Piece of a totem. Um, there's a team going on with them. At least. And I've seen some mini bosses can be just uh, insta killed with weapons. So there are definitely weakness tables in the game for different weapons doing different things. Let's see what this does to this guy. Can we somehow negate his shield? Oh my god! Okay, there we go. That enemy completely ate shit. What about this guy? This weapon is probably quite good. Oh my god, the head bob with this. Looks like his head weighs 10 tons. Well, that's how you can revert back to Buster easily, using the coil. Not sure what this is all about. It's not even a challenge. Way too easy. <gasps> Okay, maybe it was a teaching limit, just maybe. Maybe we should run. I take everything back. Okay, it was still too easy. Does it keep coming? No, it doesn't. What if we go back? No, it's still there. I like how the enemy died to it. Sliding still is one of the things I hate, I have to say. That's not going anywhere, but I'm a fucking mong. Every time I'm about to die, I realize that, but I still don't make... Like, I don't make changes to my playstyle. I should probably do that. I'm so busy talking, I don't see... Uh, what I'm doing, basically. Yeah, the challenges in this stage are so much easier than uh, the previous one. Difficulty curve definitely uh, could use some refinement. 
Uh oh. Don't get killed the same way again. Oh, it just keeps coming back. Okay, there we go. It's so easy to scroll the enemy back. You have to go back a little bit to uh, avoid it. But as you do, it just comes back way too easily. You literally have to know what you're doing. <gasps> Didn't even see that. Oh my god, vertical section. This is the music I remember the best. It's probably the most recognizable. Everything else so far has been meh. Every stage music should be like this. They just gave up on composing or something. And we did the trailer music, that's enough. Oh my god, that perfectly hits you if you don't jump. I just got lucky. Another mini boss. Well, that's the rule of two. Not against it. Let's see if we can j make just one power shot. There we go, I think. But we got hit, so maybe it cancelled. I like how it's so difficult to make that shot. You really have to get good, good with it. And I do like the fact you can rapid fire as well. Testament of a true Mega Man game. Oh my... Well, he picked my place. Probably not a good idea, because it doesn't even reach. There we go. Oh! Eddie, you son of a bitch. He just took my 1-up. What the... The game is fucking me with me. Me with me. Well, maybe both. I like it. They turned Eddie bad. What else can you do? Oh! There's holes for the uh, little uh, tillies or whatever the hell those are called, I forgot. A lot of Mega Man 5 enemies, it's like... We know we fucked up with Mega Man 5. Let's have most of the enemies come back from 5 and make you love it again. No, that's not gonna happen. I love this game though, I'll tell you that much. I'm not going back to Mega Man 5 though, you ruined the buster, everyone knows that. Well, there's a gear here that tells me that this is probably something you wanna do. I am getting this E-Tank. I'm not giving up before I do. Let's get the gear. Oh, no! I will get this E-Tank. I'm not giving up before I do. Son of a... <gasps> no! There we go. Man, it feels good when you finally do that. Oh, could I just use Rush? I could have just used fucking Rush. <gasps> okay, maybe it was better to use the gear system. I killed Eddie. So, can I just use Eddie now? Oh, he actually gives multiple items. Maybe that's okay in a boss fight? I still don't see the value. He worked kind of like Rush Medic from Mega Man 8. It's a lot of references to other games, which is nice. Makes you feel uh, like you're respected. I wonder if Inafune has played this game or will play this game. He's like, oh, this is what Mega Man was all about. I kind of forgot. When I was watching over the shoulders of my employees and sitting in my chair of importance, smiling away at the sunset, sipping my cup of water. Like I said, Inafune probably just. He just basically watched over the shoulders of the employees and never really, uh, really checked what they were doing. Here's this crappy game. Okay, holy shit, I made a mistake. Hiring all of these nut jobs. Maybe if you're uh, the boss, you should probably look at what your uh, employees are doing. Just a pro tip for a grand businessman. Well, Capcom has done it, surely. The lack of enemy variety is a bit underwhelming, though. I have to say that. That is one of the problems of this game so far. The lack of enemy variety really... Uh, sometimes gets me down, but... They've done it with Mega Man 8. They've done it with Mega Man Base. 
it's not as bad here. But I wish to see at least two different uh, enemy types more per stage than what I've seen so far. Oh well, at least there's constancy. Con consistency. So I know for a fact this fellow has a second form. The first form is pretty useless. He'll just... Like it's over in a second, pretty much. There it is. Okay. So now we have to learn a bunch of... Uh, different patterns, which I haven't seen before, so let's see how I uh, fare. <gasps> okay, the idea was right, I just monged out. Okay. Yeah, these are easy to learn. Okay. And even when the fight started out, his chest was blinking, telling you that you should probably hit the chest. So Blockman is a bit different from the other Robot Master so far as you can clearly see. It's Nothing like we've seen on a Mega Man game before, it's pretty much like a Yellow Devil version. But the, uh, in actual Robot Master form. Problem with this is, ju is the fact that you're just in a corner of the full fight, pretty much. Doing nothing else than just sitting there, helpless. Getting shots in when you can. There's still a third form, apparently, where he uh, comes back as a small Robot Master again. Now he's basically ice, man. It's different. Maybe the big form could somehow swap sides here and there. Maybe he could make a big jump and change uh, to the other corner so it would uh, be less monotonous. Maybe he does that, I just didn't see it. But from what I understand, he doesn't do that. Maybe a big jump where he would just land on the, on the ground and Make a uh, explosion of swords or something like that. We already know the weapon. I find it kind of lackluster. Block trapper just spawn blocks out of thin air. It's not what I call a good weapon. We already have pretty much a well. It's not a screen clear, but it's a an area clear. So this is pretty much the same thing, just different, just a different way of uh, using it. Okay. Doctor, get it first. is something wrong? The double gear system. Oh, what about it? it? I just so learned it was a double ago. double gear system. It was on that day. Wiley and I had our falling out. He quite literally threw a wrench in our gears. <laughs> we were then, each pursuing robotics research in our own way. Serious music starts again. What are Otto and Roll doing behind the fucking computer? And the chicken is still in the microwave. It's a bit overcooked by now. I do like the uh, young Wily and Light. Can be true partners to humankind at last. Reminds me of Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak. Even robots that think for themselves will never be anything more than tools. But with unstoppable power, insurmountable. And Wily wearing pink. He was wearing pink pants in Mega Man 3, I think, at the end. Except robots for what they are. There's a pink shirt. And with my double gear system, we can make that dream a reality. With this installed, any robot can instantly become a hero. However, I was strongly opposed to Wily's ideas and research. These cutscenes are a bit boring, though, I have to admit. <sighs> Robots that use it. And if it fell into the wrong hands, it could be used to cause terrible harm. At the time, a committee was convened. Oh, they're listening in, I see. In favor of my independent thought research. Wiley never forgave me. And his views have grown ever more extreme since then. How ironic <laughs> that my efforts to quench Wiley's hot headedness before it led him astray only ended up fueling the fire. Doctor, I never knew. His voice does not fit his face, <laughs> like Mega Man's voice. If I only knew. Maybe we'd still be friends. To work together. A way to work together. 
Even the double gear system can be a tool for good, if used properly. But using it properly requires proper judgment. Wiley's dream of developing technology to make... How long does this go on for? You know what would be cool? The uh, level select up there uh, having uh, the Robot Masters grayed out that we already beat. That would be a nice touch. Wouldn't even be hard to do. Oh, rush chit. Rush chit. Is it rush chit? Oh, that's f fucking cute. Huh, guess we'll find out. Oh, nice, we have rushed yet, sure. See the explanation then. Kinda sad we didn't get to use it on the other stages up until now. That's coil. How do I get it to chat mode? Rush chat on. Rush chat is B, alright. Oh boy, you can't slow it down. Hmm, I would prefer you could, like in Mega Man 4. Maybe it's not too bad. Just have to keep in mind that you, ha you can't slow it down. It's a bit janky, but it works just alright, I suppose. You kinda lock into it. Hmm. Well, catch you next time.